has really thrown a wrench into the equation for families who are preparing for college. So gone are the days, as you know, of visiting campuses to see if it's a good fit for your teenager. And the question is, is it too late to apply for scholarships? College admissions expert, Dr. Gina Lester is joining us now with some very helpful information. Great to have you here, doctor. Thank you. I'm excited to be here and share with your audience. So how has the college admissions process changed due to COVID? I think the biggest change that we have seen overall in the college admissions process is the test optional coming into play and schools looking at students from a holistic perspective, which means they're not just looking at test scores and GPA, they're looking at what makes a student unique, what makes a student stand out, their activities, just all of the other pieces that go into the college admissions process. So yes, you mentioned holistic college. What is a holistic college review? What do students and families need to know about that? Yeah, so when you're looking at that holistic review, what the college is looking at, obviously they still look at your academics. That's a huge piece that's not gonna go away, but they're really diving into those essays, to the resumes. Um, some schools offer interviews. If that's an option, then that's something they're considering as well. They really wanna know the student, who they are, what their passions are, what makes them authentic, what makes them who they are. So they're not just looking at that academic piece, but they're looking at all of those other parts of a student and their application to consider that student um, as a applicant for their school and if they're a good fit overall in all areas. There's so much to know and you're the expert in this. So describe uniquely you and uh, what that formula is and how it works. Yeah, so uniquely you is something that I've actually been using with my students for several years and it is a program I created. And I think it's really important for our students to understand themselves and what they wanna do and what the next steps for them are. And so many kids just don't know what they wanna major in or how that is going to look going forward. So when I dive into Uniquely You, we look for their core values. We find what um, their passions are, things that are gonna make them stand out in not only the college admissions process, but understand themselves better so that they're able to convey that to the colleges and really come alive in what I can, you know, what I say, come alive in the college process versus just being words or numbers on a page and the college admissions counselor can actually see that student and it helps the student be more successful because they understand themselves in a better way. Well, we're all familiar with the SATs. How do the SATs come into the equation um, and, and how can students stand out? Yeah, so currently SATs are um, not happening in a lot of places in the world, nor are the ACTs. We have some students that have test scores, some that don't. So colleges in general have gone test optional. Um, so if your student is not able to get that test score, then they can go test optional. They don't have to feel panicked about it, but that's where it goes back to that unique review, where it goes back to that holistic review they're really looking at that student completely, not just from a test score perspective. So I just encourage parents, if you haven't been able to get that score, don't panic. Just really help your student build out the application where it shows them as a whole student and focus on that versus just trying to cram in a test at the last minute. Now I have another question for you because my stepdaughter is a senior and we had to scrap all the plans to go to Michigan and Oregon. So if you can't go to a campus, what can students do? Yeah, and I know that that's the biggest disappointment for our seniors um, this year for sure. And the one thing that I have noticed is that the colleges really are working hard to provide opportunities for our students. So there are several different things. One. There are lots of virtual college fairs going on. So you can um, just Google virtual college fairs and they'll come up and you'll find different ones where you can participate. Go to the actual website of the colleges you're applying for. Many of them are providing either Zoom group meetings or you can connect with a counselor 
or they're providing some kind of connection for the student so that they can meet other students or have a panel of discussion um, about the university. So that's a great thing to do as well. Also on many of the sites, they have these virtual tours, which is great. And I know it's still not the same as getting on. Now, the other thing would be if you're in an area where you can tra travel somewhat safely, you can get to a particular college and at least kind of explore the uh, area around the college then that can be really helpful. We do have some colleges that are setting up college visits. They are not the group college visit. You have to pre-do that and have that all set in place. And some of them are offering self-guided tours, but I think that at least if it's a school that you're really, really interested in and you can get to the area, you can see safely, you know, the restaurants around it, what the campus looks like, how it feels, while it's not the same as the whole traditional college um, visit experience, it does at least allow you to know, okay, yes, I could see myself on this campus. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be their second home. Really quickly, we only have about 20 seconds left. What are the biggest mistakes parents make and teenagers make when applying and how can we avoid them? Um, I think the biggest mistake is that we really so many times focus on just the test and we get really focused in on that. And so uh, this year specifically, just take a breath and step back from that. Really look at what that holistic view is going to be and really developing out that college list, making sure you're picking a college list that's really right for your kids, not the one that you where you went to school or your family went to school or their best friends going to school or that the US World News and Report says is the school. You wanna find the schools that are really right for your student. And that is absolutely the most important thing. And when you do that, the rest of the process is going to flow a lot smoother and you're gonna have a lot more success. Seniors are happy that you said that. Dr. Lester, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And right now, Dr. Lester is offering free copies of her book to the first five people who visit collegeadmissionsgameplan.com slash book.